Hello everyone and welcome to the Lounge HQ. So Claire and I are going to give you a little tour today and kind of give you some of those little nuggets information that maybe everybody else doesn't know. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> So why not start right where we are at the moment, which is the kind of welcome central point where any visitors and all of the loungers walk into on a daily basis. We wanted to make this feel like an embodiment of the brand. Yeah, so the wall to the left of you as you walk in basically has a bit of a story to tell about essentially where Dan and I started the brand, which was with the paper patterns of the first triangle sets. We were really inspired by that original triangle design. So we've mashed that all together, literally using those same shapes and create this huge female form and she now welcomes you into the building. Should we carry on? <laughs> yes, go. This area was essentially designed to allow people to literally what we put on the wall have a mooch. Have a mooch. Obviously, Lounge are an online retailer, so why not better to have this little mini virtual store where people can touch down, log into the website, shop and have a mooch. And then sort of over this sort of direction here, um, this little bit of signage on the wall here is representative of a lot of the little nooks and crannies that we put into the whole building. So just asking our loungers how they feel today, I guess seems like a really simple concept, but actually just makes them know that we care about them. Let's go into cup. So now we are in cup cafe which is essentially what we've labelled our kind of restaurant space and this space is probably one of my favourite parts of the building. Yeah, you? mine too. The team were really, really keen that there was a whole half of one of the floors given over to rest and breakout space. So we wanted somewhere where the whole team could come together, all of the loungers could meet, work, eat, rest, play and we'll show you some of the elements within the space. So we've got a real mix of spaces. So there's lovely breakout meeting space. We've got this huge central circular deli and bar area. And then over in the background, we have the cinema club. It was super important for us to be able to have a space where it felt like a home. So you've got, it literally feels like a living room. I think we tried to create a space where our team would just feel really comfortable, really at home and be able to actually have fun at work. In and amongst the kind of crazy elements of the day, this little area is basically somewhere where you can take yourself away, really centred around well-being, mm. but basically somewhere where you can lounge, sit inside, but be really connected to the outside and greenery. It is that sense of openness and that freedom that you get here. A natural light. It just totally changes your mindset at work. So up here it was really important for us to make the most of the openness of the space and really connect through to the gorgeous outside. To support that we sunk this whole area of the floor plate. So we took all of the raised access floor out, we set the floor down and created this little lounge so that you can feel really like you're hunkered down and look straight outside. Basically just like a little safe sanctuary. Dotted throughout the workplace there are multiple different elements that basically help the general work life to function. So we've got phone booths, touchdown desk areas, standing meeting spaces, and then your more traditional kind of open plan workspace. Mm -hmm. And you prefer a kind of more one-to-one -one desking situation, don't you, where everyone almost owns their own desk? Yeah, definitely. I think that is the more old school vibe that Dan and I still do quite like. And I think Claire was of the opinion of still creating these awesome collaborative spaces, but did agree that for us as a business, Business, being able to have your spot where you can kind of have your own me time still felt quite important for us yeah. really. And then bookending the space down at this far end and likewise on the other wing you've got your meeting spaces, leadership gathering areas, boardroom yeah. and then that secret little snug in the corner. Mm -hmm. We knew how precious away time was for the key leadership team and so it was important for us to give you this little nook, yeah. this little thing where you could go and kind of hide away, have your sessions as a leadership team, come back out and join the team. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so that sums up your tour of the Lounge HQ. Um, I hope it's kind of give you an insight into what we've created here. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about what we've worked with Lounge to create here, then please feel free to give us a shout.